Uh, hello everybody, uh, welcome to my next tutorial. I'm um, sorry for the delay. Um, I've just recently um, got signed with the company, even though I'm kind of young, but yeah, I've got signed with the company and I've been working uh, really hard on websites lately and because I'm being the web programmer for websites and stuff. So that's what's been keeping up my time, but um, I have some good news that I'm going to be finishing these tutorials by the end of the week. But in um by like Sunday or maybe maximum Monday. But <clears throat> the the reason but the the only way I'm gonna be able to finish it is if I kinda decrease on the shooting part. Um I decided that I just wanna focus on the platforming part mainly because um basically <clears throat> um you can add shoot shooting's basically an add on to the platformer. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do shooting and stuff, and I'm just, but I'm just not gonna be getting in depth into it. Um, my aim is just to show you um the concept of making a um a platformer, a side scroller. Um, when it comes to um enemy collision, um to a platform collision, um to a little bit of artificial intelligence, to jumping, to gravity, um to the, um to different levels and different maps and stuff like that so i think that if i if i go towards shooting side it's gonna be like it's gonna take away more from what i'm trying to grasp so i'm still gonna be showing shooting just not in depth but i will be making a new set of tutorials um that is just focused on shooters and shooters alone so you can look forward to that so anyways um, let's let's look at um, our from our last tutorial. Um, I was showing you just the load map function, and I just want you to add one thing. And you may not know what this is for now, but you will understand it later. Um, when, when we put if open file um is open, um at the end of this, just put set load counter x and load counter y to zero. That's all you have to do. Okay. <clears throat> Now I want you to open up your text editor. I prefer to use Notepad++. Um, I mainly use this for web development, and I think it'll be easier for creating maps, especially for larger maps. And you will see why when we get into collision maps and such like that. But anyways, um, the first thing in our load map function it asks for the map size um, x and the map size y. So it wants to find out how wide the map is and how high the map is. So right now we're gonna set it to 20 by 15, okay? So now we have to draw our map under this. So let's set the number one for the sky and the number two for the grass or for the ground or whatever, okay? So we're gonna put um, just one 20 times. So just follow me. So that's 20 ones. And let's just copy and paste this, okay? So uh, we're just gonna paste until we reach 14 lines of the sky. And on the last line, uh, we're gonna just put a bunch of, um, oh my bad. On the last line, we're gonna put a bunch of twos. Now you notice that it's on line 16. Remember that um, the map size X and map size Y take up the first line. So this is 15 spaces down and 20 spaces across. So that's our map. So if you look at it, imagine that all of this is gonna be the uh, blue color for our sky. And this is gonna be like a greenish color for our grass. So just think about it like that. Just imagine a map like that. So what we're gonna do is save it and um, Find your project directory. Uh, so C plus plus projects, and I don't remember what I named this project. YouTube, yeah, YouTube platformer. Sorry, and we're gonna save it as map one. Um, and it's gonna it's gonna save as a text file. So map one dot text. Okay, so that's easy enough as it is. <clears throat> So now let's go back um, to um, our editor <clears throat> and let's create the draw function. So if you watch my other tutorials, you will understand what is going on right here. 
if you haven't then you won't understand what's going on and I advise you watch it first I still will explain it here but you might not understand it in depth and I don't want to explain it too in depth because I don't want to take away the focus of what I'm trying to explain so size Y and right there now leave it at that for now okay uh, as soon as you're done that just leave it at that and let's go to global.h okay now there's a there's one more thing that we have to de define right now and that's a block size so that's um if you want to get fancy you can have a block width and a block height but right now i just want to um to make it simple we're going to have one block size so this is the width and the height of the block so we're going to set this to 40 okay so the width is 40 and the height is 40 for every block that we have okay so now let's go back to our map file so now now we're, you're saying um what is this what are we doing uh, why do we have two for loops now remember our map file is a two-dimensional array um that stores the numbers that we have input in our text file so in the first um it, it stores all our values from right here and it stores it in map file um, in the map file variable okay so what we want to do is check for every index of the map file array so you want to check for every single number in there and we want to search for a certain number okay so that's what we're basically doing right now so we're gonna put if map file i j is equal to 1 so all we want to search for is the 1 right and we said that the 1 is sky is the sky right so what we want to do is just draw a rectangle to the buffer. I'm going to put I times block block size. And I'll explain this after. J times block size. Um, then I times block size plus block size. Oh, sorry plus block size and j times block size plus block size and again if you were um working so oh, sorry so if you were working with um if you wanted a certain block width and a block height you um if you set a block width and a different block height you put i times block width then j times block height you put i times block width plus block width and j times block height plus block height and if that sounded confusing to you forget about it it doesn't really matter for the sake of the tutorial i'm just saying for people that want to just go the extra mile and get fancy okay so anyways what did i just do here well for our parameters for a right um for a rectangle we have our x1 we have our y1 and we have a x2 and our y2 okay so what you're saying is that our let, let's look at the first index of our array so the first index is one okay so that means i is going to be equal to one and j is going to be equal to one okay so let's look at our code again so if i is equal to one and zero equals to one then we want to know where to draw our rectangle on the screen so it's saying 0 times block size. So what's 0 times 40? Because our block size is 40. It's 0. Okay. So um, it's going to start drawing. The first point is going to be at 0 on the x coordinate. So what's j times 40? It's 0. So the first coordinate um, is going to be 0, 0. Now for x2 and the y2. i times 40 is 0 plus 40 is equal to 40. So the second point is going to be at 40 for the x2 and the same thing for the y2. So it's going to draw a block um, that's uh, four pixels, uh, 40 pixels wide and 40 pixels long. And it's going to draw it at the origin point 0, 0. That's basically what's going on with the rect fill um, function right here. And if you don't quite grasp it, then watch my um, map. Um, t tutorials um, for my uh, for my early tutorials and the volume one tutorials so anyways uh, we got that down and basically we have to set a color for it I didn't set a color yet so make call 
and you could just put this in 0 255 255 that would just give us like a nice um light blue color for our sky or oh, but you can make anything else you want so i'll make a else if statement so i'm saying if map file i j is equal to 2 and let's copy this and all we have to do is just change the colors we want it to be green so we just set it like this and just give me a second to check how much time I have okay I'm at 10 minutes uh, so I'll I'll end it there and then I'll fin hopefully I'll finish off the map tutorials um, in the next tutorial that's coming up soon so uh, thanks for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it and bye